different for myself. And I would always come back to the same circumstance or the same, uh, you know, find myself in the same place. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until I stopped and realized that, ah, oh, it's not my behavior that has to change. It's not necessarily my mindset that has to change. I also have to say change how I view myself and my identity, because if your circumstance in your, in your, um, behaviors don't align with who you really think you are at the core, mm -hmm. there's no way to sustain that behavior. You can change your behavior, but it's not sustainable unless you change the identity. And we're going to give some examples. Hopefully okay. Say that, that again, because that was really deep, but also really good. If your behavior and your circumstance don't line up, in if your behaviors and your identity don't align. So, oh. okay, let's give an example. For instance, say you need to lose weight or you want to lose weight. Okay. And you're going to do that by beginning to, to exercise. Yes. But your whole life, you've seen yourself as an overweight person. When you think about yourself, if you really, if somebody really pushed him to shove, got you to talk about yourself, really at the core, you saw yourself as an overweight person. You were an overweight child and you formed that identity. Yeah. Versus somebody who was an athlete all the way up through high school mm -hmm. and college. And then circumstances of life came in and they had a sedentary job and they yeah. just got into a comfortable yeah. relationship, started eating. Right. When they go to change their behavior, it's arguably going to be easier for the person who sees themselves as an athlete. Mm -hmm. Right. You see what I'm getting at? Yes. So for somebody, it is hard to lose weight. It's really hard to lose weight. Trust me, I've done it. But if you just change the behavior, you're, you're not, not going to get, you're not going to get the sustainable or, result. And maybe you'll get the result, but it's probably going to be a far bigger headache getting there. It's going to be hard. Yeah. You're going to be, yeah. It's going to be an uphill result, battle. But you might be also the person who that result comes back because until your identity aligns with your actions, your bot, your brain will find a way to, to fix that cognitive dissonance. It doesn't like a brain, your brain does not like a contradiction. So if you're telling yourself something mm -hmm. and even I'm talking subconsciously guys, but you're acting different, that is, that's, that's where unhappiness results from. That is the space where discontentment yeah. pools. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, because so you deep, I know. Oh I know, my gosh, but it's so good because you want a change and you want to do the thing that's going to create the change, but if you don't see yourself on the other side of that and you don't identify with it, you're not going to you're going to be very unhappy and you're probably not going to get there. Yeah. It's so good, but then then the question is like how, how do you switch you your identity? Change? Yeah, especially like some of this like you said is a subconscious thing, right? You don't even realize maybe that you've given yourself a particular identity. Right. So some of this is embedded in the work that we do and that we help you yes. take through. To, but the first, before you think about changing your identity. Meaning the work quick, we do with clients. Yes. Yep. Thank you. Everybody's quick to, okay, well, I want to change. Then I want to be an exerciser. I want to see myself as yes. a you know, skinny person. Yes. I want to identify as a, uh, you know, an athlete or whatever. Sure. Before you change that identity, you've got to know, what the start is. Okay. How do you identify? And we, I think this is thrown around with gender a little bit. I'm not talking about this, like you guys, I'm talking about like, do you identify yourself as a mother, right? These mm -hmm. are simple ones. Do you identify yourself as a wife, et cetera? Okay. Well, what kind of wife? So the starting what point is first wife? identify yourself. Yes. And identify who you are like right now in this moment or who you want to be. Who Where do you, you start? Are. Who, who you, you are, are. not who you, you want to be. Yourself you are. Okay. So identify who you tell yourself you are. Okay. This is great. Most people have at least two identities. And I mean, more than that. Like when we talk about, I got about 25, yeah. 30. <laughs> <laughs> I got several on the day. <laughs> <laughs> and how much sleep I've got. <laughs> well, yeah. And I mean, it, that that's really true, especially at this stage in our life, right? With menopause. but. Um, right. But there's, there's some, so this is the key. So know that, know where your identities are. What are your attitudes on aging? Right. Mm. How do you see yourself aging? Because truthfully, it, it goes back a lot to our role models. Our identities so much. are rooted in, and we know we're influenced by our, our parents, mm -hmm. our teachers, mm -hmm. our preachers, right? Um, 
but it goes back to what was modeled for us sure. and our identities are often rooted in that. And that's why it's so important.